Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray, in position to bring you live match commentary. And my expert analyst, as always on these occasions, is Stuart Robson. And what we've got on the menu is potentially absorbing league action. Stuart, tell us about your pre-match thoughts. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. The Genoa starting 11. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four, two holding midfielders, three creative players in advance of them, and a mobile centre forward. It's a good team. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Well, as you can see, it's a fairly narrow midfield, so it does mean that the fullbacks need to break forward at the right time. But it's the number 10 who really has to affect the game today. And so the match is underway. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. Well, there it is, the first caution of this match. Well, he didn't need to make the challenge, did he? He's under pressure now. It's a long time to go in this game. Massimo Coda. Running with the ball confidently. How about the cross? So it's going to be a goal kick here. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Stewart, in particular, what do you expect to see from him? Well, his recent form speaks for itself. Three goals in the last three games, and he's playing with great confidence at the moment. Every chance he could add to that tally today. Well, just look at this again. He moves the ball quickly, he gets beyond his marker and he keeps his composure. It's an excellent finish. Well, back underway and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Strong but fair tackle. And space to attack. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. Aramu. He has teammates around him. Terrific block.
And over it comes. And the keeper taking it cleanly. A very timely interception. And providing width. Not really the ideal clearance. Chance to play it in. This attack looks highly promising. Could be. He's gone and found the net. Brilliant piece of finishing. Magnificent goal. Well, here's the replay, and what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed, and then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. So the ball is rolling again at one all. Albert Gudmundsson. Payac on the ball. Kevin Strootman. Regained possession. Domenico Frari. Mirko Antonucci. Well, that pass easy on the eye. It just needs to remain icy cool. Off the post and back and play. Well, that's the end of that for now. Well, they're certainly getting closer. You just sense that... Oh, got... wait a minute. They could well be in. Well, he almost nodded that one in. Albert Goodmanson. Oh, could be. And a goal! In the lead again. Fully deserved. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? Mirko Antonucci. Well, as you can see, the visitors have had most of the ball, but they've shown a real lack of action today. One or two of their more talented players need to... Can't miss, surely! Oh, that is a majestic goal! Volleyed home with precision and style. Superbly done! Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box. Begging players to attack it, and the strike could not get any better. He hits through the back of the ball with such power. What a goal this is. So underway again at two all. Yeah. 
Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. Moving forward effectively. Koda. From the ball. Well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a very good first 45 minutes. He scored a good, a constant threat and looked dangerous whenever he was on the ball. I'm sure he'll be the key player in the second half. And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. And a chance to whip it in here. And the emphasis is on creativity. Oh, yes! A goal! Exactly what they were looking for, and he's come up with it. Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. You can't really say defences are on top. 3-2. Albert Gudmundsson. Well, no let up, plenty of pressure. Donnarumma. Room to manoeuvre on the wing. Branca. Excellent refereeing, advantage in operation. Kevin Strootman. Can they hit on the break? They need to get bodies back. Now, will they be able to play it in behind the defence? He has time to play it over. And a goal kick will be next. Good refereeing, waiting for a natural pause before booking him. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Branca and intercepted it into the final 20 minutes no chance for him to get in behind maybe oh commanding goalkeeping and a substitution in the offing well can they draw level here the crowd certainly thinks so Trying to pick out a teammate and clearing it away. It's a neat move. 
and ready to strike. Oh, crucial tackle. Brilliant. Just 15 minutes remaining. Makes the move to the inside. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. This could be the equaliser. Reading it well. Breaking at pace. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Branca. Shot attempted. Body on the line. Well, they'll be looking to add to their advantage from this corner. So, making the substitution now. And taken short. Ekuban. On the attack in the closing phase. And there goes the final whistle, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Well, Derek, it was a hard-fought contest, which neither side completely dominated, but the result will certainly hurt them. They need to bounce back next time out. Well, there's a good reason why we're highlighting him. Really dominant in attack in this game, Stuart. Well, I enjoyed watching him today. His work rate, skill and movement were excellent, and he fully deserved to score that winning goal.